Let's get started. Uh, hey besties, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. Of course, you can tell by the title. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys everything there is to know about how I annotate books. So annotating is something that I think is definitely very personal. I feel like it's something that you kind of just have to go with the flow and you're definitely doing like you're choosing what to annotate you know so it definitely is like a personal experience but i know that it can be kind of intimidating and i've said it in multiple videos which is why now i'm making this video because a few people have asked me to do one and because i always say that i casually annotate <laughs> i feel like i annotate in a very like chill you know relaxed style I don't really take it too too seriously but then again I'm not really reading you know super intense books that I think would require maybe a little bit more attention or a little bit more I don't know seriousness when annotating I guess I'm not really sure I don't think I do anything too too different from people I just know that I don't really hold myself up to a certain like standard when it comes to annotating and I kind of wanted to share how I do it just in case there is somebody out there who might be a little intimidated by the really pretty pictures of annotations that are on Pinterest and Instagram and everything I'm gonna be showing you guys a few books that I have with kind of different genres and then I'm also going to be sharing my supplies that I use for annotating so we're covering all the bases here don't worry so with that being said let's talk about how i annotate books so i'm going to tell you guys about my supplies first because i feel like if i'm telling you guys my process with annotating and i'm showing you the supplies it just makes sense if i already explained those first right i don't know i keep my annotating supplies in this little tiny pink tray she's super cute um and i keep it on my like book cart which has like all the books that I'm either reading right now or gonna read or whatever, you know, you know the cart. I show you guys the cart all the time. Let's talk about these supplies. So, first things first, my biggest number one tool when annotating is a simple black pen. Has to be simple black pen and I am, okay, let me give you the breakdown of me. I have always been a stationary girly. I literally have, at this point, now I literally own a small business where I sell stationery cozy cloudy co if you're interested always link down below i have always been a stationery girly i've always been a notes girly you know you know so none of these supplies these all of these supplies i already had for like school and stuff so when it came to annotating i was like yeah right i already knew my favorites but in case you don't know your favorites here's oddies so my favorite pen for writing in books is the pilot g2 in the size 0 0.38 for books especially for underlining this is the pen this is the one she is the winner just give her the gold like really oh my god writes so smooth and it's just the perfect size for just a nice clean underline but it's not like sometimes words are pretty close in books right like sometimes like paragraphs are pretty close and you just want like something that's gonna be able to go in between and not cut off the next line or something like that they like never die like literally these pens last me forever and they come in like a pack of like you can get them in a pack of two you can get them in like a pack of six i think you can even get them in a pack of ten that's the pen she's the winner she is the winner next is highlighters as you can see i have my little highlighters in this little blue mason jar again super cute i know i know i use mild liners in my books mild liners are my best friend i just love them i love the colors i love the like pastel sense that it has um but sometimes they're not pastel like this like sort of teal one this sort of teal one is just so pretty my favorites are definitely the pink i have this like lighter sort of pink color can you see i have this like lighter lighter sort of pink color and then also the gray believe it or not i love the gray because i love to sort of like accent or like on double underline with the gray like i'll do with the pen and then i'll do with the gray if something's like super 
important, you know? Plus, it's just like so cute. It's kind of like a pencil because it's gray, but you can highlight like a whole sentence with it. I don't know, kind of cute. I also have Sanrio my liners stop i know so cute and this is in the same pink shade as the other pink so you know i had to get two because i'll talk about pink later in the video and how important she truly is um when it comes to mild liners i'll link them down below um where you can get them for like amazon but you can also get them individually in a few stores if you want to just get like a pink and a purple and a blue like you can buy that on a few stores and i do know a few I think Stationery Pal is one, and I will link that down below for you guys as well if you want to just try one out. They're super cheap on there, super affordable, and buying one instead of like a pack of 20 might be the better bet for some people, I know. Um, but honestly, if you're considering buying the pack of mild liners, they are well worth it. They are literally my favorite highlighters ever. The next supply that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need when annotating is book tabs. These are the book tabs that I use. These are just a few that I have right here. The other ones are like in books right now because I also use them as bookmarks. But these ones are my favorite because of the colors. I also love the like material that they are i do have a few that are like a paper material and while these can be cuter because you can put like prints and stuff on them like these sort of bare bread ones are super cute but when you have them in your books and then you like have your book on your shelf or you're taking your book in and out of your bag the paper ones tend to like get folded and like crease and i just can't oh no that drives me insane so these are cute but i don't really use them in my books anymore per se because that just really oh it drives me nuts i can't do it so i don't really know how to describe these but they're like the generic like book tabs like if you look up book tabs on say amazon these this kind is gonna come up they are pretty transparent too which i love because if you're highlighting like over a word you're not gonna have to like take it off if you want to reread that quote or whatever you can still see it this is the book i'm reading right now magnolia parks and i'm currently annotating with this set of book tabs this color scheme just really seemed like it went with that book and that's kind of what i try to do i kind of try to match them with the book cover just because i am that kind of girl book tabs are everything everything honestly i would say but the book tabs and the pen are the two most crucial but sometimes it really is just the book tabs for me for the most part like while i'm reading so these two are definitely my favorite 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 and essential supplies for annotating and then the highlighters are a little bonus um but i don't think they're necessary when annotating but i really love book tabs and pens so of course i will link everything down below now let's talk about how i annotate books or my process when annotating books so like i said i have three books to show you guys two are lucy score books but both of these are of course romance um so i'm going to be showing you how i annotate romance but i annotated each of these um slightly differently so i thought i would show you one is like a super super casual approach by a thread and another one is um, a little bit more probably the most I would do for annotating a romance book so I figured I would show you those two the next one is one of the books in the inheritance games trilogy this is the second one this was my favorite one and it's also my most annotated out of the three. Oh oh my god I absolutely adore this book this is gonna be quite a journey to go back in time and read through my annotations for this book because this is honestly it's one of my favorite books you know but anyways this one um is kind of like puzzle i wouldn't really call it mystery but like this is if i read a mystery this is how i would annotate it probably as well um but yeah it's like it got a little romance in it but it's not a romance it's more of like puzzle games trying to figure out the story figure out the plot with the characters in the book so i annotate this differently than i would romance let's start with the romance because i feel like you guys know that that's sort of my jam and that's definitely where i do the most like casual annotating so let's start with things we never got over so talking about things we never got over first and just in general basically what i do is 
I don't like specifically uh, like at the front of the book I don't like say which color tab is gonna be which I kind of just have a general understanding because I don't really use a lot of colors at once in a book this book I just kind of had fun and I decided to use uh, I think four colors all together um, but they all kind of went with the cover of the book <laughs> But still, I still kept to like my same sort of like vibe and plan that I always do. Mainly what I do is tab and underline. Um, so basically, pink tabs are always romance points or mainly romance quotes that I want to just remember or mark because I think they're important to the story or I think they're important to the characters, development, whatever it may be. Um, and then I usually have other colors or one other color for just plot points that I think are helping the story progress or I think are going to play an important role later in the book, things like that. So for this one, pink was like super super romance points that I was like, oh my god, I can't even take it. Dark purple-ish, indigo-ish blue was sort of romance like plot points things that just I thought were going to like play a role or like maybe if it described a certain like look you know like developments of their feelings or relationships maybe before they themselves as characters in the book know it even themselves you know where you're kind of marking it like oh I think that's gonna play a role for later in the book and then teal and light green were just for general plot points because aside from the romance there was a story going on you know and i used other colors so that i could just mark those sort of things things going on with her niece or things going on with her sister or things going on with the town or maybe development with friendships things like that but like i said i keep it pretty chill if i go off of that i could technically tab the whole book so really what i'm tabbing is just important things or things that you know stood out to me in the book but it's nothing too crazy and for the most part like in this one i'm pretty sure i just underlined i didn't um highlight anything when i'm really just into a book and i'm reading it like non-stop or i'm picking it up any chance i get i don't have time to grab my highlighter or grab my pen grab you know like i always just have the pen on me and my tabs are my bookmarks that i can just always you know mark pages as i go and i always have them on me sometimes when it comes to the highlighters i will go back after i finish the book or maybe if i'm reading one day or at night the next morning if there's something that like really stood out to me that i know i marked i'll go back the next day and like sit down and underline it and highlight it for the most part it's usually i tab and i underline everything i tab and then highlighting is just sort of to accent or maybe if i want to really emphasize a couple of words in a quote that i underlined or something like that that's typically what i'll use it for i used to pretty much highlight everything that i tabbed but i found that that just took too much time and there really was no point in it and i honestly realized i kind of like the look of just an underline more than anything and i like to accent or emphasize with my highlighters instead so with buy a thread i feel like i knew before i even started this book that i was gonna really like it and i was gonna really be into reading it um and that definitely was the case um all three books that i'm showing you by the way are five star reads so i feel like i casually annotate and keep annotating the most chill with my five star reads because a five star read you're just reading like you don't want to stop you don't want to keep stopping the underline you're just reading the book i don't know maybe that's just me but for this one i only used two colors i used like a purpley pink for romance and then a darker sort of purple for plot points that's it and then i mainly underlined but i did highlight a few parts when i finished the book i went back and just sort of looked through my annotations because i just couldn't believe i finished this book and it was over i like wasn't ready to accept it yet so i went back and there were a few parts that i just decided to underline and highlight like literally page four there's a part where I had to I think I did this in the moment while I was reading it like I just couldn't believe that he was like so into her page four that I just couldn't even take it so I had to underline and highlight that but a lot of times I will just write like 
funny little notes like to myself or like literally my thoughts while I'm reading. Here I just did brackets because it was more of a longer quote and I also kind of just loved this whole dialogue on this whole page so i just did brackets and a tab kind of where it started and usually when i go back and look at my annotations i end up reading like the whole page again anyways so that's kind of implied just for me how i think and how i reread but i literally just wrote like i'm obsessed with them like it's nothing crazy like i'm not really like analyzing the story when i when i like write little notes to myself sometimes i literally just write like omg like here, I literally just put a tab. I didn't even underline anything and I just wrote bro is whipped because he was and there was really nothing else to say. Basically this whole chapter, reading that last line, I was like, bro is whipped and there was nothing else to write really. Here again, this was a romance point. So I put a cute little pink tab and just underlined. And it was a quote, so I used this sort of bright pink and then for like romance, like, plot points i used a lighter shade of pink that's how i kind of casually annotate uh romance books but when it comes to something more like this genre which is like puzzle i don't really know how to describe like in terms of genre but it's definitely a lot more plot than romance per se romance is definitely a subplot of these books i still kept to my color coded we have purples and blues for the second book in the series to match the cover of course for this sort of genre i feel like i write a lot more in the books because i'm feel like i'm trying to figure out the puzzle and figure out the story with them as i read basically said that one of the brothers smiled at her and it was a slow, dangerous, heavy smile disguised to elicit a reaction. I didn't give him one. And then I wrote next to it, holding back because of one of the other brothers, um, because there is a bit of a love triangle, especially in book two. Here I bracketed and I also highlighted. So I wanted to show you guys like specifically just different ways that I use sort of the supplies. So you can see I bracketed this whole sort of paragraph but then I highlighted the first part of it because that was the part that really stood out to me even though the whole thing was definitely something that I would want to look back on or I think played a role in the whole story that first now you're thinking like a Hawthorne really was like the key point I also wrote a little note here um just my thoughts in the moment this was again about the love triangle I was saying I think I'm team Grayson but then Jameson and Avery crack the game and I'm back to square one you guys know where I stand though if you've watched any of my videos where I talk about this book you guys know that I am team Jameson moving on moving on i said this was going to be brutal to go through because this is my favorite out of the series and this is my favorite series period in terms of colors i do remember even though i don't write this stuff like i don't make myself like a key in the front of my book i remember because i kept it the same throughout all three books but basically blue was for the brothers blue was for the boys uh in the book because they just always had such key points in the whole story if you know you know if you've read it you know what i'm talking about um the blue tabs were always for the brothers and then the shades of purple differentiated what else i was uh marking so one shade was for romance one shade was for avery and another shade was for just plot points that i think were progressing and helping the story or i thought were going to be important later in the book yeah i did a lot of um brackets in this one just because it was really like it would be like page worth of quotes or a page worth of just information that i felt was necessary and like i'm writing i don't want to show you like my notes specifically as we get further into the book because it could be a spoiler but i really just write little notes to myself about like what I think is going to happen like is this this right like is this is her mom this is you know is this what really happened uh during this part like just kind of trying to figure out the story uh as a reader with the characters but I think these sort of books are definitely my favorite to annotate and I think they are like the most necessary to annotate a book like this it's just like never ending games never ending continuation of the plot in the best way possible and 
you can also get kind of lost with it there's definitely a lot of plot points to remember so being able to just annotate and go back and be like wait didn't i mark that didn't they already say something like that or didn't they already talk to this person really helps um with just understanding the book and i think getting the most out of reading the book but i will note that a pattern i always have when annotating is i will be going like hard in the beginning of annotating books and then towards the end my tabs and underlines and everything sort of die down because when you're finishing a book it's just flowing right for the most part and you you know you don't want to just keep stopping to annotate maybe that's just me but again I don't really take it too too seriously I definitely am very chill with it there's just some parts that I like to take note of um so i can go back and read them or so i can better and un un better understand the story or have a more enjoyable experience reading i think annotating helps me be more aware and more present when i'm reading my books but i don't find it necessary there's still a ton of books that i read that i don't annotate i don't even tab or underline or anything um, I just read them for fun and that's just what it is but in terms of a recap I always tab and I 90% of the time underline I underline whatever I'm tabbing and tabs can be romance it could be quotes it can be plot points it can be things that I think are gonna help the story or things that I think are gonna come back around later what I write in my books is different from what I underline I usually underline just things that like a short little quote then I'll use brackets for a longer quote or maybe like a full page um, I underline within those brackets typically and then highlighting is for accenting things that I already underlined so if there's a quote that I really really loved or if there's a part in the story that I really think is super important or I know is super important like we finally solved a part of the mystery or something like that I'll underline and highlight yeah I don't really stress myself out with annotating I think the first couple of books that I annotated I used a ton of tabs and I underlined highlighted everything and they weren't even like crazy like books to be doing all that with so I know what it's like to feel like you have to underline and have to tab everything but it's totally not necessary and like I said annotating should be something that's super personal to you it really is your thoughts as you're reading the book you really can't copy someone's annotations but you definitely can take some ideas um, on how to use certain supplies, when you should pick up the highlighter, when you should use the pen, if you even need either of them. So that's kind of why I wanted to make this video so that you guys could sort of have a sort of no pressure, stress-free annotating inspiration, I guess. Annotating is super fun um, and if you'd like to explore with it or experiment with it, I would recommend these sort of methods because um, it's super chill and you don't have to think too much um i would say keep it calm with the tabs and the colors and everything the most i've done like i showed you is four but that's with tabs when it comes to highlighting i only ever use two um and then the pen is just always a black pen so that is all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it i hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration to annotate feel free to comment any other questions down below yeah i love you guys very much take care of yourself as best as you can and i'll see you in the next one every time i drink like a love like a love